Welcome to the Art Project. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you enjoy this video at all, please give me a thumbs up. I'm doing a quick painting of a rooster for a friend of mine. Uh, it is a barred rock rooster. If you are familiar with barred rocks at all, you know that they have a heavy stripe pattern. Um, which I'm going to show you how I did some practice work first and how I did some studies. Um, right now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of laying out uh, the basic idea on the canvas. I put a first layer of just blue paint just to kind of um, ruin the canvas so it wasn't so pristine. It's so hard to work on a brand new canvas. It's intimidating. So I like to uh, throw down like a little wash of some kind to just kind of give it some texture to give it some start and to make it not quite so intimidating. Um, I went ahead and uh, just kind of did a little outline, a little um, sketch of it in white uh, paint with a little liner brush and then I'm filling it in in blue. So the, the barred rock is actually like black and white uh, marks and, uh, but I didn't want to just do black and white because that's so boring. So I just decided to make the dark values instead of black, making them a dark blue. Um, and here I'm just filling in a little temporary uh, background to <clears throat> get it, um, you know, just again, get it started. Uh, kind of erase some of the mistakes that I made as far as the form of it goes the outline of it and uh, just keep adding, adding to it. Uh, here is the sketches that I did to begin with. Uh, I did like four studies. I think I did another one on another page as well. Let me tell you, all of them stripes are tedious, but that's okay. We're going to get to it. Um, I decided to uh, tweak it a little bit. So I ended up filling it in with some even darker color, the, the black on the, Rooster is obviously like, well, black. And so I felt like my blue needed to be a lot darker. So here, here I am throwing it in a little bit darker. I uh, put a little bit of the comb. Uh, this is not finalized. It's going to be a lot different than that. But I want to just kind of, you know, um, indicate it a little bit. Uh, here I am squeezing out a little white paint. I'm going to start these stripes. And like I said, they are sort of tedious. I probably did not need that much white paint, but here we go. Uh, again, carving out a little bit more of the form, doing a little, a little bit of a fix here. A little bit of white added to that to, to make it a little bit more opaque and to get rid of some excess rooster. That I didn't need. Indicate those tail feathers a little bit more. And then, of course, don't want to forget the beak. All right, remember with acrylic paint, uh, it is made so that you can paint over it. You're, you're, there's just no way, unless you do a really uh, tight, strict color by number type thing, there's no way you're going to put the right color in the right place the first time, uh, and at least not until you have a lot of experience with the paint and all, uh, and all of that, and you work it sort of a la prima style. But uh, that's not the way I work. I'm, I'm not so good at putting everything down exactly the way it needs to be the first time. So I just keep working it. And if I mess up, I cover it up. And if I mess up, I cover it up again. And so basically I like to make mistakes so that I can uh, refine and reform my figure. Here I am adding it, making it a little bit darker. Because again, I want to paint the white stripes and not the black stripes. I kind of like to go a little bit in reverse. Add a little bit more... Uh, comb and uh, what's that thing on the front of the chicken called I forgot anyway all right let's start throwing these uh, stripes in here now the funny thing is not really funny but uh, I, I put all of these stripes in here 
sort of like from the top of his head down to uh, his shoulders one time, and then I started all over again. I wanted to get a little bit um, accurate with the stripes. And, of course, there's so many stripes, it's it's on, almost impossible. It's not impossible for everybody. It's almost impossible for me to get these stripes just right. So I did it once, and, and this is my first go right here. And then I decided to wipe them all out and do it again. By the way, uh, like I said, this is a painting for a friend of mine. And I don't know how many chickens she has. I think they mostly free range. Uh, I also have chickens. I've got about four right now. I used to have 16, um, but over the years they've either passed or we've given some away because we had too many. And I'm not sure we're going to get any more chickens. It's just a little bit more to take care of. And uh, my girls don't really want to uh, feed them. And uh, so I think this might be the last of the chickens for us. But they were fun to have, and uh, fresh eggs are really good. See, uh, you can see where I painted over uh, all of those stripes that I just did, and now I'm going to go back in, and I'm going to put these stripes back in a little bit differently uh, and a little bit better, I think. I got a pretty tiny brush and just having to keep loading it and loading it and loading it with um, paint uh, to get all of these stripes. And sometimes I'd come back and do the stripes twice to make sure it's nice and opaque and other times I would leave it alone so it wouldn't be too, um, too much the same. Close to the top of the chicken, a lot of those uh, stripes seem to be the same, but as it goes further down, they become wilder and and more um, interesting so that you are not bothered by all of the tedious stripe painting. I think I skipped a few here and there uh, as far as getting video footage. By the way, uh, I'm afraid my audio is not going to be all that great. I am using some temporary audio right now. Um, I'm going to have to switch up my audio because I switched up my system a little bit, and now I'm working on a different computer. So if you got some ideas for audio, please let me know. If you're a YouTuber or if you're an audio person, let me know what kind of audio I should purchase for um, doing this YouTube stuff. Uh, if you do a search, I'll try and leave a link right here, but if you do a search for rooster on my channel or chicken or whatever, I did another watercolor painting of a rooster for the same friend a couple of um, years ago. Einstein. See how these... Uh, these stripes are getting a little bit crazier. I'm, I'm not getting lazy about it. I'm, I'm trying, I'm actually looking at stripes on the rooster and just sort of copying them the best that I can. Uh, they're not exact, you know, obviously, but, but I'm trying to mimic what I see in the picture. I'm going by a reference photo. It was also interesting how you could see like the different parts of the chicken, uh, you know, like the leg and the breast and the wing, uh, even though it was sort of camouflaged by all of these crazy stripes. This was also real interesting. You could see on the tail, like, all of the individual feathers, in a way, and each one of them, you know, had its own little set of stripes, obviously. But uh, it was, it was, each feather was more defined in this part than it was on the uh, rest of the chicken.
And they just kind of hung there like, I like hair just kind of draped over the tail, over the butt of this chicken. Now, I don't know if y'all have watched me uh, draw or paint. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, I love cross-hatching. I love making little marks. So this is really, uh, as much as I'm complaining about all these crazy, tedious stripes, this is really just kind of my thing. I, would, I like it better when it's not with a brush. I like, uh, I probably should have gotten like a paint pen or something to do all of these uh, stripes. But <clears throat> uh, this is what I had. And so... Uh, as much as I like making little marks and little lines and cross hatching and so on, um, it's a little bit more difficult with the brush, it seems, because you got to keep dipping that brush in the paint and making sure it's the right amount of uh, paint on the brush. Uh, and like the drag is just right. Uh, I took some um, watered down blue paint and kind of uh, added the shadows to each each, uh, what would you call it, um, form of, of the chicken, you know, the neck, the bottom of the neck, the bottom of the um, uh, wing, the bottom of the breast, the bottom of the legs. And then I came back in and did some of these stripes again, uh, bringing them back out and making them a little bit uh, brighter. And this is this is all with uh, acrylic paint. You can see my little watercolor tray over to the left, but I, I didn't use that for this at all. Uh, you notice here in this section, I've done the background. I don't know if I have some of the footage out of order or what, um, but. This apparently is towards the end where I have done the, um, the background, which I'm pretty sure I got on video. Hmm. Sorry if I've gotten this out of order. I don't remember painting in the background. Here's the, the beak. And I also came in and did the uh, the comb, gave it some some more uh, definition. It was actually kind of the best part. I, I did enjoy painting the the different wrinkles and and all of that of the comb and what whatever that, I can't remember what that thing's called on the neck. I know it. It's on the top of my tongue. Put the eye in, more shadow. Somebody tell me in the comments down below what the thing on the next call. Can't remember. All right, a little bit more, a little highlight, a little definition. See right here, I don't have the background done. So apparently I've got some of this out of order. There it goes. Here's the background. Uh, sorry about that. I am not going to rearrange the video and put it back in the right order. I'm just, it is what it is. Uh, I really like doing the backgrounds because it gives me a chance to like, uh, again, carve out the final form. The negative space is so important. So if you are... Uh, painting, if you are an artist or you're trying to learn or whatever, don't forget the background. And notice that little bit of negative space in between that last tail feather. That was kind of important too. And then also don't overwork the um, don't overwork the uh, background too much. You know, let there be some energy. All right, that is it. This is what my final picture looks like. And 
I guess I'm done. It's your turn to go make some art. Later.